In previous videos, this channel has revealed that NOAA data shows that the global average temperature has been falling since January 2015 at a rate of minus 0 0.92 degrees Celsius per century. We did not know how to explain this as the atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide had been increasing throughout the same period. We also noted that the United States average temperature was decreasing at a faster rate than the global rate, the US rate being minus 9.43 degrees Fahrenheit per century. So too the decrease in all of North America, including Canada. The North America rate of decrease being minus 7.3 degrees Celsius per century. How to explain this, if not carbon dioxide? Could it be the Sun? The planet Earth gets practically all of its energy from the Sun. In fact, the energy received from the Sun, TSI, exceeds the next largest energy source by nearly 10 to the power 4. This being the case, is there a correlation between the falling global average temperature and the TSI measurements? There are various instruments and projects that measure TSI. These two charts combine the various measurements. They all show a drop in the amount of energy received by the Earth from the Sun since 2015. We now asked just what causes TSI to vary? Is there a correlation with sunspots? With that question, we now come to the work of Valentina Zakova of Northumbria University. It has long been known that there is a relationship between TSI and the number of sunspots appearing on the sun and global temperature. This chart shows a construction of historical TSI levels. The low level of TSI from 1645 to 1710 corresponds to a period known as the Monda Minimum. Zarkova states that during this period, very few sunspots appeared on the surface of the sun and the overall brightness of the sun was slightly decreased. The temperature across much of the northern hemisphere of the earth plunged. This likely occurred because the total solar irradiance was reduced by 0.22%. But there was more to it than just sunspot numbers and TSI. There was Zarkova's discovery of the interference of two magnetic waves with close but not equal frequencies produced by the double solar dynamo action at different depths of the solar interior. This discovery of double dynamo action in the sun brought us to a timely warning, she says, about the upcoming Grand Solar Minimum 1 when solar magnetic field and its magnetic activity will be reduced by 70%. She goes on to say that this period has already started in the Sun in 2020 and will last until 2053. Valentina Zakova concludes that during this modern grand minimum, one would expect to see a reduction of the average terrestrial temperature by up to one degree Celsius, especially during the periods of solar minima between cycles 25 to 26 and 26 to 27, for example, in the decade 2031 to 2043. She goes on to make the obvious and straightforward conclusion that the reduction of a terrestrial temperature during the next 30 years 
can have important implications for different parts of the planet on growing vegetation, agriculture, food supplies and heating needs in both northern and southern hemispheres. And this global cooling during the upcoming Grand Solon Minimum, that's 2020 to 2053, can offset for three decades any signs of global warming and would require intergovernment actions to tackle problems with heat and food supplies for the whole population of the Earth. This channel would like to add that these remarks seem very pertinent to the United States and Canada, given this current period where temperature is already dropping. We now want to demonstrate that the work of Valentina Zakova is not only very well respected, it is also being supported by work carried out at NASA. Its Space Weather Prediction Center is predicting sunspot numbers up to the year 2040, which covers much of the grand solar minimum. The numbers for the next two years do not look particularly alarming, going from 56 to 87 per month. But if we move forward to around 2030 to 2032, then the numbers show a continuous fall from 18 to 7 per month. And then, from 2039 to 2040, sunspot numbers drop to zero, fully supporting Zarkova's prediction. We therefore ask the United States and Canada governments, has a risk analysis been conducted on the predicted solar grand minimum? And if so, what are the mitigating actions being put in place? This community combines the topics of climate change, COVID-19 and the New World Order. If you would like to join our community, you can find us on locals.com. The New World Order. This link will take you directly to our site.